Good morning and welcome to the vlog. Do you hear that? It's nice and quiet in my house. This is just freshly wake up Amber. No makeup, no, like I'm still kind of tired. And it's 10 o'clock and I'm just eating breakfast. I stayed in bed for a little bit longer. My son is in the States with my in-laws, so he is not around for the week. So all the vlogs this week, Hayden won't be in. Um, Trevor is at work all week. So it's just me and my salad <laughs> for right now. Don't worry, the vlog will get interesting. Just not right now. I still have to open it. So yeah, oh yeah, yeah, look. Big, big eyes. Good times. But yeah, my salad this morning it um it has apples in it cucumber cheese lettuce and this delicious creamy poppy seed dressing that i fell in love at another restaurant and they actually had it at the supermarket so i'm actually like really really happy that they had it but yeah that's what's happening just a nice relaxing slow morning I don't have to worry about getting Hayden ready for the day. I don't have to worry about Trevor getting ready for the day. And my pigs are already very, very happy. Oh, I can't zoom in this way. But they're all eating and they're super happy. If you listen very, very carefully and turn up your volume all the way, you can hear them eating. Did you guys hear that? But... Yeah, that's what's happening so far today. Enjoy the rest of the vlog. That will be interesting, I promise. All right, we're almost ready for the day, but I've read a couple news reports about people getting weird infections by makeup brushes, and I do my makeup pretty much every day. Even if it's just mascara, I still do my makeup every single day. So what? We're going to do right now is I'm going to show you how I clean my makeup brushes. First, we are going to clean up the sink before we put our brushes in the sink. So here we go. I'm going to spray my lovely bleach bottle in here. Oops. Give it a couple good squares. take my paper towel that I have here and give it a good wipe everywhere around my sink. I, I do this because one, I while I'm cleaning I don't want to put more crap in here and then we're going to turn on the faucet just to give it a kind of good little rinse off. Oh, that looks way better already. What do you think? Way better already. Okay, quick rinse off. We're gonna give that a minute. We're gonna take the paper towel and we're going to dry out the sink now. And I understand that a lot of like beauty gurus and other people like that, they do it a different way, but you don't have to follow the way that I do, but this is the way that I do it. It's okay to leave a little bit of water in it. We just don't want it soaking wet. All right. This is one way that I do it. Ooh, my camera doesn't want to see today. This is one way that I do it. You don't have to follow the way that I do it. First, I'm going to pull the plug. There, done. I am going to put two capfuls of this. This is hydrogen peroxide. This is going to kill any of the bad stuff in my brushes. I'm only going to put a little itty bitty tiny amount. Remember, this is a whole sink and I have a lot of dirty brushes. You know what? I'm just going to use the rest of my bottle because there isn't a whole lot actually left. Then we're going to take, I'm going to turn on the hot water, now 
Usually I would suggest turning on the hot water until it gets super, super hot, then putting the peroxide in. You can either use vinegar. I usually use vinegar, but I'm all out of vinegar, so this is okay to use. Usually what I do is I wait till the tap is hot, quickly put the peroxide on, turn on my hot water. My hot gets super fast, so I'm not really too worried about it today. We're going to make sure our sink is, yeah, smoking hot. About three quarters of the way full. Three quarters of the way full. I'm going to put my brushes in here. This is including tweezers you might have. Um, uh, oh my gosh, what is this called? Um, eyebrow cutters, the powder pad from the powder I'm using. Make sure everything gets dumped under. I'm using another brush that's not really dirty. I wash all my brushes, even though I don't use, I use about three, four daily. And see how the water is already different already. We're gonna come back in about 20 minutes. We're gonna check on them. We're going to give them a good, good wash, and then we'll come back. Remember how I cleaned the water before? You can see that this, ooh, this is the sink. That is the water. That is a huge difference between one another. And look at the same color already. It's only been about two minutes. Huge difference. All right, it's been some time. We're back in the bathroom. All right, so what I've done here, I don't know if you can tell, so I've rolled a cloth here. I've rolled it as tight as I can, and I put two cloths here so it looks bulgy, because we're gonna put our brushes lying down. We're gonna put our brushes lying like this. The moisture will get in here and then after a little while we'll flip them. Right now I'm going to drain the water, so this is after a little bit. We're going to drain it all and while it's draining we're going to clean them. Now normally I use like a special cleaner but I'm just going to use my normal kind of hand soap because that's still fine. We're just basically one uh, washing the product off and two um, giving it a good, good clean and rinse off after all that we've done. The scissors and the tweezers, they just need a little rinse off. Okay, if you saw the water in here now, you would think it's absolutely disgusting. And you remember this little pad brush? Now it's perfectly white on both sides. Isn't that amazing how clean it is now? And we're just gonna continue until all our brushes are clean. the facing down. We want that angle for the brush to clean off properly. We don't want the brush sitting up or laying flat because if the brush is lying flat when it dries um, all the bacteria is going to go in flat. So we want it at the angle to do its job properly. the sink drain for a little bit and I'm going to show you what my brushes look like now. See and it's really important that they're up. Try not to get your brushes too touch because they are wet still and we're trying to get them to dry and the longer they dry, actually let's move some of these up. Really important that after you're done this, you're washing your sink out again because we want all that awful stuff just 
gone. Here we go again. All right. Right now I'm walking to my friend's house, Billy, because she has my Avon stuff. So this is the first time I've left the house. It is hot. Not just that, it is still really smoky. I don't think that, mm, I don't think you can really see on the camera how smoky it is. Usually I can see down the street, no problem. But at the end of the street, the house that is supposed to look white is not white, like a cream color. I don't know if you can see that way. But yeah, our air quality is like at a seven. I know lots of people who live not around here and their levels are higher than 30. So I am not complaining about the air quality. I can still breathe. Yeah, you can kind of smell it and taste it, but my friends in like Kamloops and stuff, it's awful for them. So today was about self-care. I slept in, which is good. I made something delicious to eat. I painted my toenails and when I get back, I'm going to get rid of the dryness on my feet. Oh yes, and I wash my makeup brushes, which is really, really good. All right, I got my Avon stuff from Billy, and I'm actually quite like woohoo right now because she has a guinea pig at her house, and I was allowed to hold her guinea pig, and her guinea pig was so cute. Oh my god, and it was an Albician pig, just like how Peach was, and I, I even told Trevor yesterday that I'm actually ready to get an Albician pig, even though, yeah, we have three pigs. It's just, I think my heart's set on getting another Albician pig right now. And I totally want one. But we don't have a big enough cage to get a fourth one because when Peach passed, I kind of redid the cage so it fit three pigs better. I could technically, I have the cage I have, I could make the cage bigger. Like we have the room, but yeah, no. Yeah, I totally want to get an Albician. Her Albician, I don't remember the, her pig's name, but her Albician was uh, black and white. And it was super adorable. Peach was orange and white. But this one was actually really cute. It was giving me kisses. It nibbled on me. It grabbed my ring on my finger and tried to pull it away. It was adorable. Oh, I'm gonna go home, do more things with my feet, hold my pigs. Because this one actually came to you. I have, out of my three, only two come to me. Well, bacon more comes to me. Yeah, crap, I miss Peach. Mm. There, that's a better shot of our sun. Go get some dinner. Ready? So tired. I have to get some opa. Ready? Yes. Yay, my husband's home. For a couple hours and then I'll top the bed. <laughs> Excuse me, we're a little 
pigs right now, but that's okay because it's damn good, Opa. Yep, we're sitting at home now and we're watching America's Got Talent because that's an amazing show as well. Just chilling. We're gonna say goodnight. Say goodnight. Bye.